Hello guys and happy Tuesday. So in today's video, I thought I would do a little bit of a passive income report from January and really show you guys how I'm able to make money through my channel as a small YouTuber, I guess. Now this is gonna be slightly different to the passive income report I did in December because number one, I was basically looking at the whole year of 2020, which obviously I didn't make that much, but also at the same time, I was looking at passive income from different things. So whether that be personal or linked to my side hustle, so things like my bank interest and any money apps that I was using so I thought with this one I'm really just going to concentrate on things to do with my YouTube channel and my side hustle in general and then maybe at the end of the year I'll start looking at you know my bank interest and all of that stuff so I think that's probably how I'll try and do it going forward and you know if you want me to do income reports every month let me know I think I'm probably going to do it every month but let me know in the comments if that's something that you would prefer because you might not care so yeah I'd really appreciate it if you can let me know what you would prefer so in January I've been able to make money probably in about four different ways so I'm just going to outline them in the video. The one thing I would say though is that when people are talking about passive income and obviously just trying to make money whilst you sleep, I think people underestimate how much work it takes to get to that passive income stage, okay? So you're not exactly just going to just start making passive income just like that. It's something that builds up over time and you do have to put in some work to generate that passive income. So I just want to put that out there in case people think that literally it just takes me 10 minutes to film a video and then I'm starting to make passive income. No, it takes hours. I'm not even gonna lie and even what I have you might not think it's that much I should also say that some of the money that I've been able to make in January I won't actually get paid until February or even later than that so for example when it comes to things like my ads you will know that I won't get paid until the end of February but then there's also some things where I do have to hit a threshold and if I don't hit a threshold then I just don't get that money yet so yeah there's a couple of things where the money might not actually be in my pocket this month but I still wanted to just talk through how I've been able to make it and hopefully in the future that money will be in my pocket so yeah let's just go over some of the passive income streams but also if you do like the sound of that then make sure you do give this video a thumbs up as well as it does help to support the channel and it means that I know whether you like these kind of videos or not okay so the first one is affiliate marketing now what affiliate marketing is I could basically recommend some products that I will usually use and they will be in the description below and if you click on them and if you purchase something from them then most of the time I will receive a small commission for that sale so for example in my description below I've got some links to do with any of the books that I might use or any of my equipment and that's mainly from Amazon which fun fact guys I found out that even if you use my link for something but you don't actually purchase what I'm recommending and you just purchase something else I still get commission for it because I think I've just driven you to Amazon for example so yeah I just thought that was really really interesting to see but apart from that I've also got some other links as well to do with things like TubeBuddy and then I've also got a refer friend link for an American Express card so if you were looking to get a credit card which I also realized that you don't need to get my gold credit card as well there are different American Express cards that you can get and some of them you don't actually have to do a minimum spend amount to get those points so for example the gold card I think you have to spend about three thousand pounds in the first three months but there are other cards where you don't actually have to do that so that was something that I also realized as well so I've got those links in the description below if you ever want to check them out but the total amount that I got from affiliate marketing in January is four pounds and one pence now is that a lot of money probably not but to be honest I think it's a start and the fact that people are still actually clicking on my links and maybe purchasing something or even trust me to purchase something that I've recommended to be honest I'm just thankful for that so yeah I'm still grateful to be honest and just the fact that I've been able to make almost five pounds from that I'm hoping that maybe it'll start to snowball over time and I know that in my financial goals video I did have a goal of about a hundred pounds I think from my affiliate marketing so we are on the way there we might not reach a hundred pounds but actually Actually, let's just see when we get to the end of the year now again when it comes to some of the companies for affiliate marketing I do have to hit a threshold before I do receive a payout and again I still have not reached that threshold yet so that's just going to be sitting in my account until I do reach the threshold but it's something that I've potentially made in January which is good and then hopefully once I eventually make that threshold then I can receive that payout but four pounds and one pence I'm still proud of and if you have used any of my links and you've purchased something that I recommended then thank you for that and I hope you just enjoyed the product Product. the next one is YouTube ad revenue so I've already done a previous video talking about my first YouTube paycheck so I really go into a bit more detail in terms of how much I made in my first month but then also you know how much I was making daily and just looking at some of the other videos as well so if you haven't watched that then you can check that out I will link that up here for you and in the description below but most of you guys will know that I did make 146 pounds 84 pence and I was probably averaging between four to six pounds a day some days it was a bit higher some days it was a bit lower but I think
think that's probably my average and also when I logged into my Google AdSense account this is exactly how much I will be getting so yeah very excited for that first paycheck so again the money that I make in January I will then get paid in February and I should also say whenever you do get paid by YouTube ads they don't just take the tax out for you you've got to sort out your own taxes so that is something that I'm gonna have to start doing in the future as well and then the next one relates to my own paid products so if you're new to my channel you may not know that I do have a couple of budget templates that I recently launched so I launched my monthly one in the beginning of January and then I launched my weekly one I think three or four weeks later and before I launched those templates I was actually getting feedback from a lot of you guys who were telling me you know what you might want to see in those templates before I actually launched them which was so amazing to get your feedback again I just have to say thank you guys so much for that but yeah that is something that I did in January which I was hoping to really try and get it done by the 1st of January because usually that is when people want to start you know their budgeting and you know start sorting out their finances so I was on a very tight schedule and I'm not gonna lie I did not have a day off during Christmas break because <laughs> there was a lot to do and yeah I guess when I got my first sale I was like oh my gosh like I couldn't believe it someone had actually bought my template off me but yeah it was just amazing to see and I ended up making about 19 sales and with that I was able to make 82 pounds and 47 pence so yeah I was so happy with that and yeah the fact that it was my first launch and my first paid product I was able to make that much I was genuinely surprised I did not expect it at all but yeah to be making 82 pounds in that sort of launch date it was just amazing to see so I'm very happy with that if you do want to purchase my spreadsheet you can of course do that it's from my Etsy store so I will link that in the description below of course you do have to pay fees with Etsy as well so I don't get all of the money when I sell my spreadsheets but to get 82 pounds I think was just absolutely amazing and yeah if you have purchased my spreadsheet thank you so much and I hope you enjoy it and please do leave me a review as well because that would really really help me out the only thing I would say is I don't envision that I would get as many sales over the next few months just purely because in January that's when you just get a whole load of people wanting to start saving money and budgeting and then usually over the next couple of months people start to forget about it but that's not going to be you I know it's not going to be you because we're going to be taking control of our finances every single month and we're going to be budgeting saving and investing and in all of that stuff okay for the whole year there's no dropouts okay we are in this together and then the next income stream are really to do with free shares so most of you guys will know that I do invest through a platform called Trading212 and I've been doing that for a few months now and basically how I get free shares is if you are interested in using Trading212 then you can use my link and then we both receive free shares. Although I have heard that Trading212 aren't currently opening new accounts at the moment because of increased demand so I think they've just got to sort things out behind the scenes before they start opening different accounts but hopefully that will get sorted soon. But in total the free shares that I did receive in January came to a total of £225.33 which I honestly couldn't believe. I had to double check because I was like, am I sure this happened? And yeah, I did have quite a few, but I obviously just didn't realize until I actually totaled everything up. So I was very, very happy with that. So most of the free shares that I got, they sort of included National Grid, Bank of America, Ford, EasyJet, Unilever, and General Electric. Now, you guys will know from my portfolio updates that there were a couple ones that I just sold straight away. I'm not gonna lie, because there were just ones that I just didn't really want, but some of them I actually did keep in my portfolio and I'm interested to just see how that performs over time. I do wonder again because it's January and people are starting to sort out their finances maybe people had goals of starting to invest as well but yeah if you have used my link then thank you and I just really hope you enjoy your investing journey and then there is one other one that could potentially become an income stream but I'm currently not pursuing yet and that's to do with sponsorships so I'm not making any money from sponsorships and for me it's actually a personal choice so I've chosen not to work with companies currently mainly because number one I do want to get to know my audience better and build that relationship before I start pushing out products but then also number two I'm not going to start pushing out products that I don't actually believe in or that I don't use so I'm probably going to be very very picky if I do start with sponsorships but I'm not going to lie I'm probably not going to start with sponsorships anytime soon I think they're just other things that I want to focus on first so in total my passive income report for January comes to about 458 pounds 65 pence which I'm not even going to lie when I calculate related that I honestly couldn't believe it because I probably made less than half of that in the whole of 2020 so it's just so crazy to see how that sort of changed and even though you might think oh 450 pounds isn't a lot the fact that I've been able to generate that through my side hustle and yes it may have taken a few months so it's probably taken about eight months to get to this point but actually it just really proves to me that if I can start to generate income now then what's stopping me from generating income you know in the next year or in the next couple of years or actually turning this into a business so for me it was just a lot of validation to know that my hard work is starting to pay off even though the process might 
might be slow, but the fact that I'm still being able to give value and starting to reap from those rewards, I'm just genuinely happy about. So if you are looking to make some passive income or start a side hustle, I would definitely recommend it because the idea of job security for me, I'm starting to rethink things just after 2020 and just seeing so many redundancies and with people that maybe only have one stream of income, it's quite difficult as well, especially if you do get made redundant. So if you can start a side hustle or just something on the side, I would definitely do it. Even if you're not making much money in the beginning, which I definitely wasn't in the first seven months, so don't worry, but it is something that will start to snowball later on. And I do trust that I will start to make progress over time. So it's definitely something that I am just really happy about doing and just, yeah, would encourage you to start thinking about it if you haven't already. But if you did like this video, then remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments, were you surprised at my passive income report? Are you thinking about starting a side hustle anytime soon? Let me know guys. I do post every Tuesday and Friday. So if you would like to know more, then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on Friday.